Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm sure by now you already know your shapes. You already know the square and the circle and the triangle and the rectangle. But what you may not know is that shapes have special attributes. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So there's two different kinds of attributes. There's a defining attribute, and those are attributes that matter and non-defining attributes, and those are attributes that don't matter. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but we're going to make it a little bit easier to understand. First thing to understand is that attributes are characteristics or traits. So we're going to look at characteristics and traits of a shape. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is defining attributes. Now, like I said, these are attributes that do matter. Shapes have to have these characteristics or traits in order to be called a shape. So the first one we're going to look at is closed, okay? A shape must be closed. If it's open like this one, then it's not considered a shape. So a defining attribute is that the shape is closed. This matters, okay? So it's a defining attribute. The next defining attribute are the number of sides. The number of sides matters. That's how you know that it's a square or a triangle or a rectangle. So the number of sides matter in being able to be called a shape. So the number of sides is also a defining attribute. And the next defining attribute are the number of corners. Like the number of sides, it matters. In order to decide whether or not it's a shape, it depends on the number of corners. Again, the number of corners helps us tell whether it's a triangle or a square or a rectangle. So corners is another defining attribute. And those are the three defining attributes. It has to be closed, it needs to have sides, and it needs to have corners. Those are defining attributes. Those are attributes that matter in order for it to be called a shape. Okay, so now let's look at non-defining attributes. Attributes that don't matter. It doesn't matter if it has this attribute or not, it's still considered a shape. And so here's where it makes it a little bit easier to understand. If you think about this, the first non-defining attribute is color. Now you've seen shapes or you've seen circles that are green, blue, purple, here, orange and purple. It doesn't matter, they're both called a circle regardless of their color. So, but it, again, it is a characteristic, it is a trait. So a color is an attribute that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what color the shape is, it is still that shape. So it is a non-defining attribute. Okay. The next non-defining attribute is size. Now think about this. If you've seen a square, a small square and a big square, it's still a square. It doesn't matter what size the shape is, it is still a shape. So size is another non-defining attribute. It doesn't matter what size it is, it's still that shape. Okay. And the third defining non-defining attribute is orientation. Now orientation kind of means location or the direction that it's turned. So if you look at the orientation, a lot of people get confused here. They think that a triangle is only a triangle if it's turned this way. But if I turn the triangle upside down, it's still a triangle. If I turn it this way, this way, this way, this way, even like this square, it doesn't matter which way I turn it, it's still that shape. So orientation of a shape does not matter. It is still a shape. Okay, so non-defining attributes are attributes that don't matter. And the three non-defining attributes of a shape are color, size, and orientation. Okay, so now I'm going to check for understanding. I want to see if you can tell me whether it is a defining or a non-defining attribute. So the number of sides, the number of sides, is that a defining or a non-defining attribute? Okay. The number of sides does matter, so it is a defining attribute. Okay, here's the next one. Color. Does the color of the shape matter? Does the color of the shape matter? Is it a defining or a non-defining attribute? All right, I hope you got this. No, the color does not matter, so it is a non-defining attribute. All right, here's the next one. Closed. Does it matter if the shape is closed? Is this a defining or a non-defining attribute? Okay, it does matter. The shape has to be closed in order to be called a shape. So it is a defining attribute. All right, the next one is size. 
Does the size matter? Is this a defining or a non-defining attribute? The size does not matter, so it is a non-defining attribute. It can be any size, it's still the shape. Here's the next one. Orientation. Does the orientation or the direction of a shape matter? Is that a defining or a non-defining attribute? The orientation of a shape does not matter, so it is a non-defining attribute. Okay, and the last one, which I think you've already figured out without me even saying anything, but corners. Does the number of corners matter? Is it a defining or a non-defining attribute? It is a defining attribute. It does matter. So this is our chart on defining and non-defining attributes. I have this um, packet available on my Teachers Pay Teachers store if you're interested in it, but if not, if you just want to watch the video again um, to help you under further understand, or if you think you got it, good job with that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.